So now in this video, we're going to look at the 555 timer in A-stable mode. So A-stable means the output is never stable. It keeps going high and low. In this case, the LED keeps turning on and off as long as power is applied. We're going to set the timing. I'm going to set it to about one second. Current has to go through the resistor and then it goes through the diode to uh, charge the uh, capacitor. I'm going to use 1000 microfarad and 1000 ohms right there and uh, so 1000 microfarad is one one thousandth of a farad same as a millifarad so it takes about a second to get to about two thirds of the supply voltage then the output will go low it'll be high during that time then it will go be low the capacitor will discharge through pin 7 through this resistor again I'm going to use a one kilo ohm resistor any current that gets through there it all goes to ground so it'll take about a second to discharge there. Pin two and pin six are the pins that monitor that voltage and keep uh, charging the capacitor, discharging the capacitor, also setting the output high and also setting it low. We could put another LED over there and sync current if we wanted to. So now I already have the direct connections on the board. So the jumpers right there, we have to power the integrated circuit. Pin number one, right there to the negative rail, pin number eight to the positive rail goes one, two, three, four. Then you work your way across five, six, seven, eight with these dual inline uh, packages. So pin number eight to the positive supply, pin number one to the negative supply ground our zero volt reference point, blue, right there. We connect pin two and pin six together because they both monitor the voltage of the capacitor. Pin two responds to low and uh, Pin uh, six here responds to high. So that's one third supply voltage, two thirds supply voltage. Pin number four is the reset pin. We don't want it to do anything. It's also waiting for a low signal like two. So we put it to the positive rail. So now we come to the timing. Pin the uh, resistor I mean. I'm gonna use a one kilo ohm resistor. Zach Valley doesn't matter. Just remember this connects to ground, directly to ground at time. So you want some resistance coming from the positive supply. We're going to use a 1000 ohm resistor right there. Now we're going to grab the other 1000 ohm resistor, go from 7 to 6 right there. They're right next to each other. Pretty straightforward. Now let's put the diode. So right now the capacitor would charge through two resistors and discharge through one, which is fine. But this diode here, the uh, gray stripe, has to be down, down here. Because as you can see, that side of the capacitor leads to the negative supply. That'll be more power. Uh, the positive supply, power will go that way while it's charging. And then it'll ignore when it discharges. Because that'll be in the opposite direction. So we have those two there. Let's finish up the uh, timing. Again, we're doing this quick because it's a quick video series. So if it seems like I'm rushing, that's why I did more detailed videos elsewhere. 1000 microfarad right there. So we will... Put that to the uh, negative rail, the negative side, the side with the uh, dash right there. And there we have our timing done. It is that simple. So now we would like to have a load that does something since we're gonna deal with five volts. I'm gonna use a 220 ohm resistor. Go to pin three, the output. Stay one spot away from this jumper right there. And We'll fill that with the LED here. So the LED, the long lead, the anode, heads towards pin three, short lead the cathode towards ground right there. And that is it. We have a uh, complete circuit there. So I haven't powered it yet. Since I'm building it, you watched me build it. So now we will test to see if it works. And there you can see the LED is flashing on and off uh, about, about the same time. It's not exactly perfect. Uh, the same time high and low but uh, it's pretty close as you can see there smaller value capacitor smaller value resistors will go faster and uh, we could also use a smaller value capacitor higher value resistors because that's about as large of a capacitor you want to use and uh, we can balance those two sizes to uh, speed it up and slow it down however we want it's not that picky so in any case keeping this quick I'm going to pop up some other videos. Make sure you check those out. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and all that. I will see you in the next video.